Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to do something a little different, uh, something a little bit for fun. Um, unfortunately, I just haven't been able to get out and explore as much. I have a couple reasons for that. Gas is expensive. And the other is the areas that I haven't explored yet are getting further and further and further away from me. Uh, time's a little bit sensitive, so I will be getting out. Uh, anyway, I wanted to do something a little bit different still in our wheelhouse a little bit uh and so i'm gonna get right into it it's kind of, it's kind of a it's kind of a neat little thing i found on the internet um it is related to waterfalls or this video is going to be related to waterfalls so it's not completely off topic um and what this is um i'm just going to show you a couple pictures so there's the first picture second and this picture. Um, at a glance, these look like uh, real images, photos people took, or images I found on Google search, or something like that. And I have, in fact, painted these. Well, kind of lying, but kind of not. Um, and here's the trick, and this is the cool thing. Um, I painted something that looks like a bunch of scribbles in Microsoft Paint, and then there's an AI software that has turned what it thinks I'm trying to draw into something that looks kind of real and it's pretty incredible so I'm just going to jump into the software and show you how it works um, we'll do a waterfall or something so here's the software you're presented with a blank canvas on one side and on the right side you're presented with um, what it thinks you want to draw, the AI's interpretation of um, what you've put in your, or in my case, my blotches and circles and lines and, um, you know, things that my four-year-old would draw. Um, and just, if anybody's curious, this is free software. It's called NVIDIA Canvas. I think it's in beta, which means it's being tested. It's not uh, fully functional, but it still does the job. It's really cool. Um, the catch is you have to have a computer it's not available on a phone. It has to be a computer. I'm not sure if it's available on Mac or not. I'll have a link to the app. If you do have a computer capable of running it, you have to have one of the NVIDIA or NVIDIA, however you want to pronounce that, graphics cards in your computer. It has to be relatively new, not brand new, but in the last like, you know, three or four years new. If that's you and you want to try it, and I recommend you do it because it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, like I said, download in the description. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm just going to pick these over here, this area, these are the different scenes you can create. Um, and from my experience, I've found that they affect the scale of the scene and it kind of gives the AI, um, an indication of what type of scene you want to create. Like for instance, um, if you can see in the little thumbnail, they have kind of like some evergreen trees, some mountains, um, some water. If that's a scene you're going to create, then, you know, it's a good starting place. Then there's like the beach scene, winter scene, nighttime beach scene, nighttime desert scene. Um, this looks like kind of more of an overcast, wintry scene. Night sky, evening or morning, depending on where you are, mountainy. The same thing, kind of maybe uh, later in the day, maybe even early evening. Uh, mountain scene. So since we're going to do a waterfall, I'm going to pick the waterfall scene. Um, and from what I've realized, it has the standard tools over here on the left that you find in like paint. You have a fill tool, an eraser, a line tool, paintbrush tool, a move tool, and like a, a sample, like a color sample picker. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible because, you know, this isn't what we do on this channel. I'm not here to, you know, get into doing this stuff. I want to stick to the topic as much as possible. What, from what I found out from looking online a little bit and my own tinkering is I fill this whole section with the green. Oh, the colors you can use, I should mention these materials over here in the right panel. They have sky, clouds, hills, mountains, water, mud, fog, snow, ocean, river, flowers, grass, uh, straw, brush, trees, rocks, sand, gravel, dirt, 
and stone wall that you can pick from. So what I did was I pick the, uh, so instead of picking a color for my brush, I picked the forest brush. I picked the fill thing. I filled this square and then instantly it put on the right hand side that I wanted some forest. And if you look at it, you're like, oh, well, it looks like a copy and pasted a close up picture of some trees. Not that impressive. Just wait. Um, so if I change to the paintbrush and I pick the rock tool, I move the brush size up all the way and then I start painting in like what I would picture to be like a big ridge, like a cliff full of rocks in the middle of the woods. Paint that in. So on this side basically looks like we have a dirt road from like an eagle eye down in the middle of some grass or something. Boom. Just like that. It actually even... I don't know if it got to know me or what, but it starts to want to put in a waterfall. Um, so it knows we want some rocks or a cliff in the middle of a woods. So it's pretty good at predicting what you might want to draw. Then I'm going to grab the water tool, not the river tool or the ocean tool, but I'm going to grab just the water tool. Change the size of the brush to be a little bit lower. And I'm just going to make a nice little kind of spot that I'm saying the water will pool at the top and then a little trickle down and then a pool at the bottom where the water would collect. Very simple. And it starts drawing a waterfall. I mean, that's pretty cool. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. I'm gonna draw a little spot where the river kind of trickles upstream a little bit. Then you end up getting, you know, you can really tinker with this stuff and get kind of a realistic looking water flow going on. You can throw in, you can draw on this side too, the right hand side. I'm just, I got the, the brush tool, I guess. I'm just trying to fill in some spots with some, some brush. Now at the bottom, uh, I found if I pick the gravel tool and I draw kind of like a water, a riverbed kind of area at the bottom of the waterfall, a spot that we're going to have the water collect and start to flow downstream a little bit. It kind of helps to do this. And then I grab the little water tool and kind of fan it out a little bit. And you can really play around with this and get some pretty good detail going on. As you saw in my other pictures, they it starts looking pretty realistic. I mean, if you really zoom in on it, you can tell it's not, it looks, it looks like it's generated, but at a glance, it's really cool. If you're into art or into painting, it might be a good starting place for you. Uh, I'll do another quick one just to show you guys how cool it is because that was pretty simple. That's how I made those waterfalls. I tried to create Drysdale Falls or recreate Drysdale Falls as you can hopefully maybe see here. In the North River Falls in Parsboro. Um, I thought it was pretty neat. Anyway, I'm going to make a new one real quick. We'll do like a beach scene or something just to kind of give you an idea. Um, so I'm going to pick the kind of beach background. And then I'm going to start on this time. I'm not going to fill it. I'm just going to draw some squiggly clouds with the cloud tool. So if you watch on this side, as I'm drawing on the other side, I'll make some squiggly lines and boom, you got clouds, clouds, clouds all day long. It's pretty neat. I mean, I'll draw a circle, circle of clouds. Like that's pretty neat. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to grab the ocean tool and I'm going to kind of make, I don't know, like a beach on kind of an angle and you'll watch it update as I pick. I'm going to fill this triangle in, try, fill this triangle in with some beach land, grab the sand tool. Right now it doesn't seem to recognize it, but it will update. I'll grab the sand tool. Still trying to guess at the type of scene that I want. Sand tool in, you got a beach just like that. I don't even have to fill in all the sand, but I will. Um, it's pretty cool. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna take the mountain tool and the brush, and I'm just gonna lightly paint in some background mountains. Like that's pretty neat. You gotta admit that's pretty neat. We'll make them a little bit high there. And then I'm gonna take the rock tool. This is something I found. If I draw in a couple circles, you get to see the ripples around the rocks. Now we got some rocks on our beach, some waves going on. It's a pretty convincing, pretty convincing photo. 
Um, I'll try putting some gravel maybe. A couple spots. There we go. A little bit of gravel, some grass. There, some beach grass. And I'm drawing on this side, the AI, AI side of, of the whole thing. Um, maybe we'll throw in some straw, it says. Some straw along here. Um, what else? A couple bushes. Foreground bushes, maybe. Some flowers. See how that looks. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller. Maybe we'll chuck some, some little flowers and see what it comes up with. Doesn't seem to be really recognizing the flower tool so much along here. Anyway, guys, you get the point. It's a neat tool. Uh, I was able to recreate some pretty convincing waterfalls with it. I know it's off topic. I know it's not what I do on my channel and it's not going to be what I do on the channel. But where I haven't been able to get out, I thought I'd share that with you. I, I hope some people can appreciate it. I thought it was neat. I'm quite a big nerd, so, you know, it's something I like to do. Anyway, guys, I hope to return back to normal soon. Thanks for sticking through to the end, and I'll see you guys in the next video.